BLM drenched Oscars fails to deliver expected award for Chadwick Boseman. It's a, it's a bit of a hot mess now, isn't it? Now, I'm not in any way, shape, or form suggesting that anyone should get awards because of the color of their skin or, 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 or political views or anything along that line. I mean, in the purest sense of the term, the award should go to the person who is the best actor or actress or in this case actor because we're talking about best actor uh the title is really uh just to just to to to, uh to present the conflicting counter that was apparently the oscars which full disclosure i didn't watch the oscars and i have no desire to watch the oscars and i'm really covering here more how the media across the board is covering the oscars Rather than what happened, I'll let you decide what you think really happened or not. Our top story, this is a uh, this is a topic report, and the topic report is Oscars, Woke, BLM, Chadwick Boseman, Chloe Zhao. Yeah, all of that. All of that. So much in there. This uh, being able to sustain this highly puritanical, moralistic narrative is is awfully difficult and and the folks that are using this as a weapon of war against most human beings in this country are finding it difficult to sustain even amongst themselves so the top link here is nomadland makes history and chadwick boseman is upset at the oscars this is from the new york times it was a sleepy event until the final minutes when Academy voters served up a dramatic twist ending. Anthony Hopkins, 83, won the best actor for The Father, beating out the late Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, who was the runaway favorite going into the night, having been lauded by four organizations and critics groups for months. Now, I don't know whether he should have won or should not have won. I didn't see Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and I didn't see... Uh, the Father by Anthony Hopkins, and honestly, I, I don't really care to see either movie, so uh, I don't have an opinion about whether this was just or unjust, but it certainly, it countered the narrative that was going forth through the Oscars, according to media, both left, right, and otherwise. Uh, Oscars 2021, China censors social media post about Chloe Zhao's best director win, Sky News. I found this particularly uh, delightful in that the media that is largely using it's particularly my brother and I, uh, Bill Collier, the editor and my identical twin of The Freedomist. He's not the identical twin of The Freedomist, the editor of The Freedomist and my identical twin. We have been debating the phrase he's been saying just corpo state and I've been saying corporate nationalist and what we've really come up with is really corpo state nationalist because not all corporate nationalists are necessarily corpo state nationalists uh the difference is that the corpo state essentially acts like the state in terms of its assumptions about how it should be governing people rather than serving a product but not our corporate states are nationalists and not our corporate nationalists are corporate staters. There's some corporate nationalists that believe in just using their influence to influence government to create uh, nationalism. So in this case, the corpo state nationalists, that's a new phrase that we're using because this really more accurately describes what we're talking about. They're in quite a quandary here because their darling that enables them to make humans in their image rather than serve humans, China, is absolutely, totally, and completely the very, quote-unquote, fascist that these corporate nationalists, the boogeymen that the, the corporate nationalists are using, corporate state nationalists are using to get you to accept their draconian measures against humans, to get you to accept their crappy products that are meant to create people rather than serve people. Well, their darling that gives them the economic wealth outside of the United States of America, outside of the, quote-unquote, West, well, this is what they're doing. While they're awarding, awarding Chloe Zhao for her film in which she apparently, uh, I didn't see her film, but apparently the film is about the, the, the death of the American dream, I guess. So that, that fits into that narrative. I'm not saying that the American dream isn't actually dead, but I will say that that narrative is, is upset when your darling that enables you to thug on Americans in the name of stopping fascism is doing this, censoring the Oscar win in China because she's not, 
Well, she's not of the right kind of Chinese. Chinese state media has not reported the news through either of its outlets, CCTV or Xinjiang. But in China, where she was born, social media posts about her victory has been deleted. And they won't let the Chinese people see it. So that's, I think there's a beauty to that. Then we got uh, Trayvon Free pays tribute to Tamir Rice, Eric Gardner, and more at 2021 Oscars. Uh, this is from abcnews.com. BLM Oscars opened with preaching on Derek Chauvin trial. That's from Newsbusters. Chloe Zhao makes history as first Asian woman to win Best Director at Oscars from France 24. Oscar winner pushes cop killing myths today. The police will kill three people from newsbusters.org. And uh, that's pretty simplistic because the three people that do, do get killed, they might actually be bad people that maybe cops should kill. Like, not all police shootings are unjust. Tyler Perry's out, out Oscar speech goes viral. My mother taught me to refuse hate. Foxnews.com. I love this refusing. Did your mother teach you to refuse hate? Did your mother also teach you not to rape people or murder people? Because it's kind of at that level of duh. Well, well no duh. Uh, Oscar's so wild, or Oscar's so woke, bludgeon viewers with BLM propaganda from Newsbusters. Well, I picked a number from Newsbusters. There. I don't, I don't, when I select, I, sometimes I'm surprised that for some particular topic report, I ended up p picking from one news site more than the others. In this case, Newsbusters, you, you win the day. So with that, uh, I mean, the, the, the essential point is here, it's schizophrenic. It's not as simple as you think it is and trying to sustain a puritanical narrative that will convince people to hand over their liberties, their freedoms, and their, their, their very agency, it's a lot more difficult than you can imagine.